this video is going to be about uh, this crazy shit here in Sanford, Florida. The Trayvon Martin and uh, George Zimmerman. Everybody pretty much knows all the facts by now. Most of the 911 calls are after the fact or way back off. There's a couple of them where you hear a bunch of, help, help, help me, help, help, help me. A bunch of that. And then the witnesses are saying that it was Trayvon hollering for help. But there's another witness that was downstairs at the time. According to the news, he, his name was John. He won't show his face or nothing. He's hiding behind the door. The guy on the bottom, who I believe had a red sweater on, was yelling to me, help, help. I told him to stop, and I was calling 911. And then when I got upstairs and looked down, the person that was on top beating up the other guy was the one laying in the grass. And I believe he was dead at that point. Anyway, according to him, he was downstairs at the scene. The only one that I know that was there at the scene and called 911. But I don't have his 911 tape. All the ones I have are a bunch of other people that were upstairs and just called in help. A bunch of noise. I'm too scared to run out. Uh, according to the 911 tape of Zimmerman himself, he's observing this individual and is, has it in his mind that he's up to no good. I mean, everybody's heard it. So somehow, according to the girlfriend, he was on the phone with her with an earbud that Zimmerman showed up and said, what are you doing? And he repeated it. What are you doing? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? They said it twice, according to her. And then <laughs> sound went out. So he either took off running or the altercation started then and there. Nobody has a clue. Nobody's talking. Well, the first person I have of what's going on is the John guy saying that Blubber butts on the ground getting his ass kicked. And he's hollering, help, help. And John goes back in the damn house. So if you're Zimmerman, you're on the ground, you're getting your butt kicked by Trayvon at the time. He don't know how old he is. All he knows is he's six foot two and kicking his ass. So that's what I'm saying. Most of the people call in, oh, oh he's getting his butt kicked. He's hollering for help. I'm thinking it was the fat dude. So he's uh, like five foot nine and fat. So within the first 10 seconds, the fight's over for him because he's out of energy. You know, he's probably wore out after the first swing or the first grab. What it comes down to is this. Him being neighborhood watch and the dispatcher telling him, don't do that, he shouldn't have done it. I don't think there's any law about him following him. But once the dispatcher, I mean, he's the one that called 911 and dispatcher says, don't follow him. He shouldn't have been following him. Two, you know, once you are following him, he takes off running and you get out and you, you decide you're going to control it. I mean, it's in his mind that he's up to no good. He's drunk. He's something's wrong. Once you get your ass kicked, it's pretty much your fault. But once you're on the ground again, and somebody's beating the hell out of you, and you're yelling help, and everybody walks away, and you're out there all by your damn self. And like I say, Trayvon, according to all these little hidden websites, is six foot two. I don't, nobody will ever really know unless Zimmerman says something. And if he does start talking, ain't nobody going to believe a damn thing he says anyway. The police report he had bleeding on the back of his head and on his face. And his back was all muddy and wet and grass stained, you know, something like that. She also stated in the report that, you know, he was hollering and yelling, help me, help me, and nobody came. So that corroborates what John said about he's on the ground hollering for help. And John the pussy ran back upstairs to call 911. He should have just grabbed Trayvon. Hey, 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 you won. It's over. Get off him or something. Try intervene. But everybody pushed out. You know, if more people would have came down and said, hey, bitches, cut the shit. But no, everybody's calling 911. Sometimes you got to step in and do the right thing, like stop the fight. Then nobody would have got shot. You know, do something. But everybody got scared for some reason. Maybe they saw a black guy and decided, fuck this, I'm out of here. I don't know. You know, everybody's talking about racism. Why didn't nobody stop the fight? I'll have 500 people bitching about this video. Ah, oh, racist motherfucker. Anyway, I, I say, 
me and my friend don't see eye to eye on it. We're both white. So, ain't doing no neighborhood watch. Leave it up to the police. All right, I'm shutting up. Peace out.